Hey everyone, Jessica Cabasi here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be going over a portrait retouch and coloring of this image. Now, I do have a video coming up on how I shot this image, including reflector before and afters, and I actually used the reflector for this image. This image was taken with a softbox, just if you're wondering. But again, that video will be coming out uh, later, so I just wanted to upload this one first. Uh, first things first with this portrait retouch, I decided to go ahead and make an action of the frequency separation technique that I use. And this is just going to save me so much time, so all I have to do is just press a button. And voila, there it is. Look at that, it's so easy. I mean, who has time to like set and go through layer adjustments and stuff like that? Just press one button and you're done. And I will be offering this for download for free on my website very shortly after this video. So you will be able to download it as well if you're lazy like me and <laughs> don't want to do this every time. So the first thing that we're going to do is turn off the texture layer. And the second thing that we're going to do is duplicate the skin layer. Now the reason why I do this is if I mess up, it's just going to cause a lot of problems. and. Um, I just, I'm just paranoid, so I just duplicate it. So go ahead and press Command J, and you're going to have a copy of the skin layer. Now we're going to go over to the healing brush over here, and we're not going to spot healing, we're going to the healing brush tool. So we're going to get up close and personal here. And, okay, so if this is your first time doing this, I mean, don't be afraid or anything, like, we don't, don't cry, like, just... Let's just get through this together. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is hold down the Alt key and you'll see that your, the cursor changes over. So when you click and you click somewhere else, it kind of copies that area. So what you want to do, a good technique, is to focus on a clean area that's already there and then spreading the clean area around. So you don't want to go take this area and then put this here. You know what I mean? So you want to go to an already clean area, like this area looks pretty good. And you want to go in slow movements. And this is where having a tablet is really useful because then you can kind of like draw it on. It's like you're painting. So small strokes, you don't want to do it huge like this, you don't want to do that. I mean, it's not the solar system sized brush you want to be using. Just like really small, small strokes. And this may take a couple of minutes, you know, to kind of go through everything. One thing that you don't want to do is to go over defined lines such as this line. So what you don't want to do is do this, like, you know, because then it's creating that divide which you don't want. Also be careful of lines around the eyes and any really defining shadows, you do not want to play with those. I will show you other techniques on how to do that. So what I'm doing now is very slowly just going over the fine lines that I notice. So around the mouth area, again, picking up a clean area and stamp, stamping away. Stamp, 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 stamp. <laughs> Do a rap song, <laughs> the stamp song. Okay. I know you guys, that was really nerdy. You also do want to keep the shadows and the and the colors that are already kind of present. You don't want to like mix those in and ruin them. You want to keep some of those shadows and lines in there. Like see this dark color? I don't want to like merge this dark color into here. I want this still to be dark, but I want it just to be cleaned up. And don't be afraid to just undo anything that you mess up on. Nobody's perfect. I think that's a Hannah Montana song, so. If you listen to her, you'll really understand <laughs> what I'm talking about. And not that I listen to Hannah Montana. I actually don't even watch her show or anything. My, I've never watched the episode where she gets her driver's license either. No, never. <laughs> don't go YouTubing that, you guys. I, feel, I have a feeling someone's going to like YouTube it and then post it in the comments. Whatever happened, by the way, let's have a chat about Hannah Montana. Like, whatever happened to her, you guys? Like, I feel like the wig came off and so many other things came off too. I'm just like really surprised. And whenever you need to, just zoom out and kind of like 
do one of these, like where you turn this off and on, just to see where you're at. So, because when you stare at something for so long, it kind of, it deceives you almost. So, yeah, don't be afraid to zoom out and see what you're doing. And also this area, um, what happened here is the softbox was pretty close. So what I'm going to do is actually put some of this color and blend it in here. As you can see, I'm bringing that top color and, and blending it in there. And it's gonna take you forever. You're probably not gonna get this the first time, by the way. And don't feel discouraged. Trust me, I sucked the first time I did this. I'm like, oh my God, I'm just I'm gonna go back and work as a cashier again. I can't do this anymore. Uh, it took me a, a couple months to pra really practice this, to really get it, to get it right. So do not feel discouraged at all. It's going to take practice. So I'm gonna zoom out and you can see her face is like already cleaner. Look at that. And that's just with just with the uh, skin, that's just with the skin colors. You're fixing it up. And watch, I'm gonna put the texture over it. Bam, look at that. No, you don't even really have to do that much. Look at that. Look at before and after. And I'm not even really done yet. That's just with the skin color. And I'm gonna go over some other details. You don't want to get too close to those lines. See what it ends up doing, see this? You don't want to do that. So if there's like a tight spot like that, what I would recommend is actually just making a new layer, uh, Command Shift N, grabbing your brush tool at a very low opacity, um, press Alt to kind of eye drop, to eye drop a uh, surrounding area and just kind of go over that very slightly so it'll blend in a little bit better than if you were to do it with you know your healing brush tool and I'm just going to go back to the skin layer I'm just going to save that so if my computer crashes I'm not crying on this video because I have to redo it again Yeah, the, there's some people who retouch using dodge and burn, and I, I just can't do that. That that would take me years. Like, I'd probably be like a grandma. I'd be like sitting in my attic, 90 years old, arthritis, and still trying to retouch using dodge and burning. For the most part, I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to make a new layer and just very softly go over this area, I just sampled, color sampled that, and I'm going very s softly, <laughs> I better look that up and make sure it's a word, um, going over some areas, and this is a good technique as well, using the brush tool, holding alt again, sampling colors, and just going over some areas, again, make sure that opacity is low, my opacity is at 11% right now. I'm on the DL right now, you know, down low. Do people still use that? Anyone? And now we're going to turn that texture back on so you guys can see what I've done so far. So this is you know, cleaning up the skin by itself. I did not do any sort of texture editing at all. So you can already see that's before, that's after. And simply just, you know, blending those colors in. So you can tell that just blending in the colors made a huge difference. So now we're gonna actually go ahead and work on the texture, which contributes a lot. And again, I'm gonna duplicate this layer, Command J. So the texture is actually a tiny bit harder, especially uh, studio, studio sucks, because you can really see every, everything. You can really see everything. Uh, Angie's skin is actually really good, it's just the lighting. It, it really is the lighting, you guys. Um, so to begin, you want to use a smaller brush because you're, 
working with all these pores. Now the trick is not to edit everything. You want to keep some of these lines. Um, the lines that I don't want are obviously these lines. And again, look for a clean area. You don't wanna go take this area and then snap it on here. You want a clean area. And very slightly go there. And the texture um, layer is one that I really don't like, but you know, you gotta do it unless you got like $100 laying around for every picture and you give it to a retoucher, which I don't have right now. So I'm doing this by myself. So I'm just merging all of these areas together and I'll show you exactly why I'm doing that because when I use my colors and adjustments, I can bring that texture back into the skin. So I'm not too worried and I do want it clean looking. Look at the difference between those two as well. Put this here for now. So I'm finishing up the portrait now and as you can tell it took a little longer than I expected. This is really how long it takes me to do every photo. Um, the, like I said, the texture part of it is always really difficult. And I will show you guys a before and after. This is before and that's after. And I'll do a close up for you guys closer that's before that's after and that is before so cleaned up skin again I have to emphasize that the texture editing will take a while for you to really get but it you'll you just got to keep practicing um, now the second part this to this tutorial is going to be the coloring aspect of this photo uh, hopefully this wasn't too confusing. I'm so sorry I had to speed past the texture editing, but it was taking way too long. And really the only technique advice that I can give you on that, which I still have to like work out over here as well, is just to keep sampling clean skin and just to kind of get it blended in. It's going to take a while, but you guys can do it. I have hope for you guys. Um, keep practicing also. And a good makeup artist always helps. So stay tuned for part two of this tutorial.